urban alligators. Two words you don't expect to hear together often. But UNF researchers have spent the past year looking for alligators in Jacksonville's more urban areas. News for Jax reporter Emily Boyer spoke with them about what they discovered in this first of its kind study. There's a reason it's called the River City. The St. John's River feeds nine main tributaries and they're home to all sorts of wildlife, including alligators. Now, while most people associate them with swamps, anyone who's lived here long enough knows they're no stranger to neighborhoods either. And there it goes. Last year, this video of a large alligator Ooh. climbing a fence at NAS Jacks went viral. Ooh. You may also have seen this story when hunters captured a 12 foot, 465 pound gator in Green Cove Springs. Or this one when a 12 foot, 600 pound gator was caught in Flagler County. While exciting, the existence of monsters like these are becoming less common. We have been expanding the size of urban areas in Florida for many, many decades, and that's projected to continue for the future. UNF launched a new study last year called Alligators in the Big City. Researchers found Found that not only is the number of alligators in Jacksonville changing, but they're getting smaller too. I'm not trying to say that there's no adults anywhere in our area. The ones that are left are probably very um, what we call cryptic, which means they're really good at hiding. Over the course of many nights, Dr. Adam Rosenblatt and grad student Eli Beal found 93 alligators. Only one was an adult, meaning it was longer than six feet. They say this is not a good indicator for the future. If you lose the large predator from a certain ecosystem, then that ecosystem can get totally thrown out of whack. People are the problem. People and alligators are going to be coming into more conflict, right? And we're kind of going to be shoving them out of the habitats they used to live in. Nuisance alligators, those one to five feet in length, are still common in Florida. And Rosenblatt says they don't pose a threat. Researchers say they found the most gators in Black Creek, but they say too neighbors shouldn't be worried. As long as you're not feeding them, walking your pets near them, or harassing them, they shouldn't bother you at all. Reporting in Middleburg, Emily Boyer, Channel 4, The Local Station.